Thank you for joining us. This is Matthew with Go Reboot. Uh, today we are going to unbox a new firewall. Um, this is a pre-configured firewall from a company called NetGate. Uh, they use a PC Engine's motherboard in aluminum case. Um, they supply the memory as well as the compact flash card, which is preloaded with a PFSense open source firewall. So let's go ahead and unbox or take out the AC adapter here. Uh, it comes with one AC adapter and comes with this nice black aluminum box. Now this is also offered in a red and a standard uh, silver box. Um, it comes with a console port. You have your Opt1, your WAN, your LAN port. You have two USBs as well as a 12 volt. Um, these on the side are for an optional wireless. If you want to add a wireless card to the unit, you can make it a wireless uh, router. And uh, looks like we have some uh, lights here that would be probably a power light and access light for the NICs. Looks like we have a reset button or something there. And that's it. Okay, now that we've unboxed the NetGate firewall, now we're going to uh, run through the setup process. First of all, we need to plug in the AC adapter. And we get some LAN lights come on. And looks like we get a power light on the front. Let's plug in the Ethernet cable into the LAN port. And now, that being on the same switch as my computer, we're going to switch over to the computer and go ahead and configure the web interface for the unit. Okay, now that we have the NetGate plugged in, we will need to put a static IP address on our workstation PC. And the subnet address which they use is the following. So basically, the NetGate's IP address is .1, and I'll just put .2 for the workstation so they don't conflict. Once that's done, we select OK, and then we're going to bring up our web page, put in the IP address of the NetGate, put in the username, which the default is admin, and the password is pfsense. Bingo. And there you go. Uh, been rebranded by NetGate, which is very nice. And basically, you're up and running and ready to configure your PFSense firewall and start using the device. Uh, this has been Matthew with Go Reboot, and thank you for joining me today.